Hello everyone, um, my name is Aki. Um, today I am going to introduce you a very simple warm-up exercise called kneeling salute. I learned this from one of my teachers um, back in London. And it's a very gentle, um, but it warms you up. It's almost like it could be used as in you know, a warm-up before the big sun salutations. Or possibly, um, if you're feeling you need to move, but you don't have a lot of energy, this might be a really good one to do. Quite strong in the shoulder opening um, in one way. But also, if you have um, knee issues, um, if you find it difficult to sit like this, that this one might not be um, for you. Um, you might have to um, adjust the positions. Maybe you can work out how what might be possible for you. Um, okay, you're going to start like this, sitting on your heels comfortably, and then if you just begin to press your feet and the front of your feet and then and, and legs into the floor, you might be able to feel that your tail, tailbone nestles in a little bit and you use that to lift yourself up. It's quite strong on the thighs. So you press, tail nestles in, come up. It's different from this way of coming up. Can you see the difference? Yeah. So, <clears throat> so you're going to come up like this, but we're going to aid it with the arms. So as you inhale, you lift your arms all the way up and exhale, come down. We do this three times, the inhale. And then gradually allowing the chest to open. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, come down. Let's do one extra inhale. And then as you exhale, put your hands in front of you, sliding your hands forward, arching your back, lifting your chest, and then turning your toes under, lifting your knees. So you go straight into a down facing dog. And as you breathe out, you bring your knees to the floor. And let's do this, the first one. Let's take the foot out to the side. So I extended my left leg out to the side, placed my right hand under the shoulders and lifting my arm up. This feels really, really good. Great preparation for big um, standing poses. Or if you're a bit tired, you can use this as a um, substitute to your standing pose practice that day. And then hand come down. Placing your foot down. Let's do the other side in one go. So I'm going to stay, take, step my right foot to the other side, opening my arm out to the side, keeping your shoulders down. Let the heart and lungs be part of this. Feel the distance between the two hands opening. And then come down and sit back. Okay? This is a warm-up round. Now we're going to go for the real thing. So pushing your feet... Inhale, lifting your arms up and exhaling down. Let's do this three times. Inhaling. Oh. <laughs> exhaling down. Be careful that that doesn't happen to you. Inhale, come up. Exhaling down. Placing hands in front, sliding your hands forward, arching your back, turning your toes under, lifting your knees, pushing your hands forward as if to move them underneath, the mat underneath your hands forward, reaching your buttocks back. Down dog. And then bringing your knees down, the same as the last time, but this is the end of kneeling salute sequence. Stepping your left foot back in line with your right leg and placing your right hand under your shoulders so your body is kind of more or less in one line. And then you open your left arm up. This feels like a balancing pose. Keeping your shoulders down, let your heart lungs be part of it. And as you exhale, carefully put your knee to the floor. Left arm goes under without touching the floor. Twisting. Inhale, step back, taking left arm up. Exhale, come down, twisting without touching the floor. It's a good balancing pose, actually. And the third time. And the same arm, in this case, my left arm, stays here. You're going to sit back. Maybe you can use your hands to push your buttocks back. And then left arm stays there, and then you add your right arm over, crossing, and then rest your head down. Here, 
Um, I have to lift my head to be able to speak, but um, I'd like to keep your tail down and then relaxing your head. And then we're just going to breathe here for a few moments. And then slowly come up. And we are ready to start the next round. I'm going to do one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, push your thighs forward. Exhaling down. Inhale the third time. And exhale, hand in front, sliding your hands forward, arching it back, <coughs> turning your toes under, lifting your knees, pushing hands, reaching your pelvis backward. Exhale, come down with your knees, stepping your right foot back this time and opening your right arm up. Exhale, right knee down, right arm goes under without touching the floor. Inhale, step back, reaching arm up. Exhale, right arm under. One more time. Inhale, lifting your right arm up. And exhaling. And the right elbow stays here. Left arm goes crossing on, on top of your right arm. So it's the other side. And you're going to rest your head down. And then try to be as relaxed as you can in this position, releasing your tail and allowing the space between the shoulder blades to release open. Allowing the kidneys to move away from one another. And then slowly come up. So I've just done the both sides. If you repeat um, the two or three more times, each time when you come back to this shoulder opening, you feel the end of each time your shoulder is opening more and more. It's a very nice one. And so maybe when you're feeling not so... Dynamic, this might be a great warm-up for you. Thank you.